I'm so excited that we're finally getting an Audi RS6 Avant to the US. Coming from Sweden, which is basically the land of station wagons, and after living in the US for a few years now, it when I, when I see a wagon out on the streets, they start to look weird because I'm not used to seeing that. So I can see why Americans think they look off and why they're not selling that well in the US. But I think if you just gave it a chance, if more station wagons like the RS6 came to the US, I think it would be a hit. And I mean, just look at the RS6. It's one of the most beautiful station wagons I've ever seen. And the fact that it has a 592 horsepower 4 liter V8 capable of 190 miles per hour doesn't make things any worse. I love the look of this, especially in the front. It's a very aggressive looking car, but the rear is apparently something that people want to change based on the response that I got from my Instagram story. So let's have a look at the rear in this video and see what's up with the rear and see if we can make some modification to it to make it look a little bit better. All right, so first let's have a look at the front of this RS6. I love this front view. It looks very aggressive and very cool looking, very Audi stylish. Uh, Audi used to have this, they've been working with these huge grills for about 15 years now. When they started it, it kind of looked a bit off. It looked like the grill is just too massive graphically for the rest of the car. I think it came to a peak with the RS5 with that huge grill um, chrome mesh that they had. It just looked, looked a bit off. But I think with this RS6, even though it has this massive grill right here and the typical Audi shape of it, it works a lot better. And I think there are two reasons for that. The first reason is that car companies, pretty much 80% of car companies today, they, they all have big grills. So that means that we see them more frequently when we're when we're out on the roads and it becomes more normal. I mean just look at BMWs and the big kidneys that they have. It's a bit too much at some points, but with this Audi compared to the RS5 with the big grill, I think this works a lot better and there are two reasons for that. The first reason is that as I said, we get used to it because it it happens more often and we see them more often. The second reason is I think it's really well framed within this front fascia of the Audi. And that means that we have these, the typical Audi grille right here. And then they went with a triangular design or graphic for these parts at the side right here, which is interesting. I think it works well. It's something new, something fresh. But then we have the, the element of really framing the front end by adding this horizontal line that stretches all away the all along the width of the car and then comes up to these pillars here that actually has an angle to them. So these are not vertical. These are tilted slightly inwards. And what that does graphically, it creates this almost camber feel of the front end and it makes the car just sit good on the road and it looks planted when you have this tiny angle of these gray bars on the side here. Another thing I love with this Audi is of course the LED headlights. Audi has always been in the forefront when it comes to LED lighting. For example, the Audi R8 was the first car to implement the LED graphics in a production car. And that kind of became the identity of the face of Audi after that. And then after that, all pretty much every single manufacturer copied them and created some sort of LEDs to create some identity in the front. And this time Audi took it to a new level with by adding these tiny bars all along the front headlights right here. So instead of creating one bar that goes like this, like they used to do, they decided to step it up a bit and create something fresh and new and add these small bars that creates a graphical element instead of just creating one big bar. I think that's another thing that's cool and innovative by Audi and it looks really well in this front end and it creates this very aggressive front end look. Me personally, I don't really have any issues design wise with the RS6. I think it's a very good looking car. I love uh, station wagons. I'm really happy that it comes to the US this time. But I put a story out on my Instagram with the RS6 and how excited I am that it's actually coming to the States. 
And the response I got was that the rear looks a bit off and it needs some redesigning to do. So I thought, okay, let's see what the issue is. The most common comments that I got was that the rear bumper here, it just sticks out too much, both graphically and physically. It just sticks out with this gray diffuser. Especially, I think this is a problem. I mean, problem if you have a darker color car. So this is dark gray and this is a light gray so it kind of looks like it's a bit off i think it would have worked a lot better if audi implemented something like this that went all along the width of the car in the front view as well so maybe create something like this something that connects this big piece to the front as well but instead what they did is just created these two parts right there and those are the only parts that are the same color as this uh, diffuser in the rear. It makes the rear stick out more than it should. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to have a look at this, this part right here and try to see what we can do to tone that piece down a little bit because it's such a weird piece to have that much attention on it, that makes sense. So what we're going to do first is just change the color of this. I think that is actually going to solve the problem. Just tone it down the color a little bit and not have it be uh, light gray and then work on these areas as well with all these plastic here and try to see if we can do something cool with this. Maybe add some diffuser in here or something like that just to break up all the plastic that we have in the rear. And then maybe, just maybe, we can play around with a light bar here. Not sure if that is going to work out graphically. It might, I don't know if it's going to add to the design or take away from it. So we're going to have to play around with that as well. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to take a rear view of this R6 and play around with it, have some fun with it, and see what we come up with. One thing I want to mention before we jump into this redesign is, I love the way Audi does you know, creates these RS models. They don't just put new wheels on it, some exhaust, tune up the engine and so on. They actually create entire new body parts for this car and they are not subtle, they're very distinct. And the thing I really love about this RS6 is this line that goes right here from the rear doors and stretches all the way through the corner and connects these two parts. These two, it kind of connects the side with the rear and then we have this beautiful chamfer here and you know I love chamfers and this is just one of these details that makes such a big impact on the overall design of the car and when you look at it from the rear uh, straight from the rear it really adds a lot of width to the car both physically and graphically and it looks like the car is very planted and beefy and just ready to go. All right, so let's get started here with the Audi RS6 Avant. The first thing we're going to do is a very, very simple change that will probably uh, change the whole design of, or, or the graphics of this car. And that is to tone down the uh, very bright gray and kind of thick. I think it's a little bit too thick, this uh, rear diffuser. So what we're gonna do is tone that down graphically and bring other parts of the graphics into more focus. I think this, the, the light gray would work a lot better if the car had a lighter color. For example, if you had a white R6, I think it would, it would blend in a lot more or better than it is when you have a darker color and a graphic that's so bright so far down in the car and so thick so just changing the tone of this actually changes the whole car and i think we're pretty much done with this redesign at this point but of course now we're gonna do a few more changes to it so this plastic that we have inside of the diffuser i want to change that as well and have some uh, not it's too much plastic for me i want to do something else with it it's an rs6 we can make some cool diffusers inside of the diffuser. So that would be some diffuser in inception going on here, but it would look cooler than just having a plastic panel filling in all the gaps on the rear. But you know, growing up in Sweden, we had every other car is pretty much a station wagon. They're everywhere. And all the uh, government official cars are most of the time station wagons. We had the Volvo V70, Saab 95 Combi, it's called, it's a, it's a station wagon. 
So it was a big part of my childhood and I love these uh, designs and you can make them really beautiful or you can make them look very weird. It all depends on the proportions of the car. The most beautiful station wagon right now is in my opinion the Volvo V90. I just love how that looks but this RS6 or the A6 in general is very close when it comes to styling and proportions. It's not that easy to make a station wagon look good because all, you have all this mass and volume at the rear of the car. But at the same time, you now have three lines, long sweeping lines you can play around with. Uh, in addition to a sedan, which only has two, which is the shoulder line and the baseline. In a station wagon, you add the roof line to that. So you can make a very beautiful looking station wagon if you have the proportions and the lines right. And I think Audi did a fantastic job with this RS6. Another thing I wanted to play around with here is this light bar because it's such a trend these days. So why not make it part of that trend? And they have it in the new A7 as well. So I just wanted to play around with it. The issue that I had was figuring out the, uh, the thickness of this light bar right now. When I started, I thought, I think I made it too thick and it took out to, it took away too much from the main rear lights graphically. So I want to shrink this line down eventually and make it thinner so that it doesn't take away too much from the, uh, the, the main rear lights. And also when it's thinner, it's going to look like the rear is wider because you reduce the height of the line itself. When you do this kind of changes, the easy way would just to be to, you know, put a uh, red line right between the headlights and boom, you could call that uh, done. But you have to think about the design of the LED that's inside of this uh, glass or plastic cover. So everything needs to have a reflection, the, the, the right reflection to it. For example, you have the LED inside, which is probably a circular or a cylinder. So you need to shade that cylinder correctly. And then on top of that, you have some sort of cover, which is normally glossy. So you need to have some reflections on top of the cylinder that goes inside of the LED. And then of course, you need to think about the chamfers and the cut lines and all of that stuff. So you need to add the cut lines for the trunk and also add the chamfers around the light bar so that it looks like it's part of the design and that it's meant to be there and that it's sitting inside of the metal of the car. So that's the redesign of the Audi RS6. Sometimes you don't really need big changes or make a big redesign to have a big impact. And I think that's the case with the RS6. Just changing a few tiny details. I decided to keep the light bar because it looks cool and it's kind of a trend today, so why not? Well, that's the result that we got. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me today. I'm the Sketch Monkey and I will see you in the next video.